What's up, YouTubers? It is your boy, Delexman. Since we are two days away from WrestleMania, why not do a very special edition of my Q&A corner? So for this edition, I will only be answering Hall of Fame questions. So every Friday at this point, I will ask you to send your questions to my Facebook page, and I will answer them in under 50 minutes so let's get started question number one is the most obvious one what are your thoughts on the Hall of Fame inductees for 2015 I like them I mean for the most part the inductees are fine um, I'm kinda iffy <laughs> lick my head <laughs> I don't I don't know man those guys I know they had a dominant career outside of the WWF some people tell me they've won 26 titles and stuff like that I'm not saying they don't deserve to go in from my perspective seeing their career in WWE and seeing that they don't first off have a lot of wins they haven't been taken very seriously so to be inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame it seems kinda like putting Coco Beware in there. No offense. Now, if this was the AWA Hall of Fame, absolutely. Go in there. But in WWE, they wasn't taken that seriously. But other than them, you know, Medusa, Alondra Blaze, uh, Kevin Nash, absolutely. Um, uh, Larry Zabisco, absolutely. Macho Man, Randy Savage, who is headlining, I believe, absolutely. Um, Rakishi? I am fine with Rakishi. A lot of people aren't. I don't know why, but I'm fine with him. I think he was awesome. I thought he was a great talent during the Attitude Era. He was a great talent before the Attitude Era, so why not put him in there? And then you got Connor, uh, the Crusher, who is getting the Warrior Award, which is, that's going to be a tearjerker. You know, especially since Daniel Bryan is inducting him, so that's gonna be awesome. And, um... Swaxinator is the, uh, you know, celebrity inductee. So, for the most part, I'm fine with this list of inductees. No issues with it at all. The Bushwhackers, I'm just kind of like, really? Before Demolition 2? Huh. That's just my issue with it. That is my only issue with the inductees. Other than that, no issues whatsoever. Um, do you see Rob Van Dam being inducted into the Hall of Fame? You know, I know people don't like me saying this, but if Coco Beware can go into the Hall of Fame, Rob Van Dam can surely go into the Hall of Fame. And even if Coco Beware wasn't in it, I still would say he should go in. He's a former world champion, IC Hardcore, US um, tag. Yeah, he's won all the belts. So he's a Grand Slam champion. For that reason alone, he should go in. But he's had awesome matches, and he's awesome. You know, ECW champion as well. So, the history that he's had with WWE, ECW, and just him being an awesome talent alone should make him Hall of Fame worthy. Do I think the Dudley Boys, Team 3D, should go into the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. The series of matches that the Hardys, the Dudleys, Edge and Christian had 2000, 2001-ish, that alone should put all three teams into the Hall of Fame. Edge is already in there. Christian will go in there eventually. The Hardy should go in there. And these guys should go in. Bubba Ray and Devon. Absolute Hall of Famers for sure. What are your thoughts on Deadpool? The Marvel character? I think he's awesome. <laughs> I love him breaking the fourth wall. That's kind of his gimmick. His whole character is all about breaking the fourth wall and destroying the concepts and principles of the Marvel Universe and just comics, period. Um, I hope to... I mean, he's gonna get a movie, but I hope to see him in Marvel films, like Avenger films in the future. And, you know, I think over time he will be in there. Uh, let's see here. Your reaction to the Iron Sheik speech when he was inducted. I don't remember it. I'm pretty sure it was hilarious. <laughs> Fucking bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> that guy is hilarious. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was awesome. Um, your thoughts on Alundra Blaze going in, and do you think she deserves it despite what she did in WCW? You know what? That's a good question.
for me, I think it's cool that they're putting Medusa in there. Uh, Medusa is her WCW name. I just know her more as Medusa. I'm not saying Alundra Blaze is a bad name. I know her more, more as Medusa. And those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows this, because if you have a WWE Network, they pounded it into your head that Medusa tossing the Women's Championship into the trash can on live TV was one of those moments that was, you know, the first shot made by WCW to WWF. And, you know, she was blacklisted because of that. And I would understand. I mean, why would you disrespect the company that you came from? But, you know... It is the whole thing of she had bosses. She was told to do that. And I think she even came out and said she didn't want to do it. They made her do it. But regardless, she still did it. It caused a lot of backlash. And I am shocked they are going to put her in the Hall of Fame despite what she did. And I am very interested in her, you know her speech and what she'll say, I guarantee you, she will address it. But you know what, man? I think she still deserves to go in there. She had some awesome matches as, you know, Alondra Blaze and being the women's champion. She's a really good wrestler. You didn't see a lot of her wrestling in WCW, but when she did wrestle, she was really awesome. So, yeah, absolutely. Alondra Blaze, Medusa, whatever you want to call her, she'd go in there. How come Triple H allowed Kevin Nash to go in as Kevin Nash, and Scott Hall can't go in as Scott Hall. Well, I don't think that's Triple H's fault, but that is a good question. Yeah, how come how come Kevin Nash can go in there as Nash, but Scott Hall has to go in as Reza Ramon? And I'm not saying Reza Ramon, you know, wasn't a great character. Why not just put him in there as Scott Hall? What was the point of just having him going as Reza Ramon? Um, that's a good question. I mean. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's that's kind of weird, the more I think about it. Um, who should headline this year's Hall of Fame? Macho Man. Absolutely. I read some rumors that Kevin Nash might headline it because Macho Man is dead. They don't want to let his brother go on and talk too long and stuff like that. No, I don't care what excuse you want to give. Macho Man is one of the best talents in wrestling history best performance period in wrestling history he needs to headline this year no it's no ands no buts oh uh, let's see here who should headline the hall of fame next year i'm gonna go on a limb and say taker i think taker's last match if it's not this year it will definitely be next year he needs to retire, he needs to call it a day, and he needs, needs to hang it up. He needs to hang it up, man. I think Taker's done enough for the business. I think he's a legend, regardless of what happens to him at this WrestleMania and next year's WrestleMania. He's done so much for the last two decades. One of the best characters, period. You know, you have... When you stop and think about it, a dead man zombie character done by anybody else would have been terrible, but this guy has managed to make it work in so many ways than one. So absolutely, um, he should headline next year's Hall of Fame. Uh, will you try your best to go to a Hall of Fame ceremony one day? Yeah, if it's in Houston, I'll be there. I'll have a ticket, I'll have everything ready. I will be there at that ceremony. I think it's gonna come back to Houston, if not 33, but 34. It's gonna come back to Houston eventually. But yeah, if it's in the, you know, it's in town, I will happily come. Uh, I'm not gonna go out of my way to see if it's out of town, unless I go <laughs> to WrestleMania out of town, you know. Do I think Daniel Bryan, <laughs> I should have known this was gonna be asked. Do I think Daniel Bryan will be inducted into the Hall of Fame? I'm gonna be biased and admit that, you know what, this might not be what others will say, but I'm going to say it. I think he will. I think with him having that awesome moment last year, and if he wins the IC Championship at WrestleMania 31, he'll be a Grand Slam champion. He's beaten people like John Cena, Randy Orton. He's had matches with Taker, not against Taker, but with Taker and Kane. You know, I think Bryan is one of those talents that deserves to go in because he's worked his ass off for years, man, for so long. Um, yeah. That's my answer. I'm going to say yes. Who do you think is stopping Owen Hart from being inducted? His wife. And I don't think it's a fact. 
his wife does not want Owen Hart going into the Hall of Fame because she doesn't want to be associated or doesn't want him to be associated with the WWE because of what happened to him. I get it. I understand it. My thing is, it's his legacy. He has children. Let people know him for what he's done. Owen Hart wanted to be known as a wrestler. Let us remember him as a wrestler. So I think eventually she'll cave and let him go in, but not at the moment. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Eva Marie hosting the show? <laughs> That's my thoughts. Fuck that. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Eva Marie? She can't even string two sentences together. I just... Yeah. I don't know. That one just escapes me. Does Chris Benoit... Let me scoot up a little bit closer to y'all. Does Chris Benoit deserve to go into the Hall of Fame? If he hadn't done what he did in terms of his you know, wrestling career in WCW, ECW, WWE, whatever he was affiliated with that would allow him to go in, I would say yes. However, despite him being, you know, multiple time world champion, having great matches, being one of the most over wrestlers and most respected wrestlers in the business, what he did at the end of his life negated all of that. Unfortunately. In my personal opinion, he will never go into the Hall of Fame. And from a business perspective, in terms of PR, I wouldn't put him in either. I would acknowledge that he existed. That's what the point of my past videos were with Chris Benoit. Acknowledge what, you know, he did for the business. You know, let's let's not put him in the Hall of Fame because that's bad PR. I understand that, but don't pretend he never existed. That was my issue with it. He existed, and he was great when he was alive. How his life ended was tragic, and it was bad. And for that, he should not go into the Hall of Fame, unfortunately. Now, some of y'all might say, but we have a <laughs> rapist in there, a convicted rapist, Mike Tyson, and others in there who shouldn't go in. Uh, I think someone killed... Yeah, isn't someone in the Hall of Fame that was known for killing somebody? I think someone said uh, Jimmy Snooker killed someone. Or allegedly killed somebody. Um, I don't know. Regardless, though, I understand why they wouldn't put him in there. And quite frankly, I wouldn't put him in there either. So, great talent. And although he deserves to go in because of what he's done, he won't go in. And he shouldn't go in. That's just my thing. A um, few more questions. Let me see. Do you think Rey Mysterio will be a Hall of Famer? Why not? I mean, again, that's another one who's won every single title he should be able to. Cruiserweight, Tag Team, IC, both world champions. He didn't win the U.S. Championship, I don't think. I don't think. He probably did. I don't remember. But he's done enough to go in there, especially with that feud with Eddie and him being a headliner of WrestleMania 22. Right? I'm gonna go, yes, 22. So, yeah. He should go in one day. What is your favorite Hall of Fame class? I don't think I have a favorite. I don't think I have a favorite. It's it's hard to choose. I'm I, I don't know. That's a that's a really hard question, man. I can't I can't decide. I'll answer this one though. How long will it be until John Cena goes into the Hall of Fame? <laughs> Give it a good five years. When he retires. They'll pull an edge. You know how Edge retired in the very next year. He went to the Hall of Fame. That's exactly what's going to happen to John Cena. And they will play it up like it's the greatest thing in the freaking world. Who is your favorite Hall of Famer? Ooh. Favorite Hall of Famer. Um. Shawn Michaels. And that's going to conclude this edition of the Q&A. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the questions. And I will see you for WrestleMania 31. And of course, the uh, uh, final video of the long week series. So, this is your boy, Deluxe Man, signing off. Peace.